All right, today I will show you how to solve for an absolute value equation. But before solving for absolute value equation, we have to walk through a few reviewings. W the concept of absolute value, okay? For example, if I have a star, and I tell you, I take the star, and I have the absolute value of the star, and the answer is five. So what does it mean? Okay, what number can I replace for the star? So the answer can be five. And we know that if the star here replaced by five or the star here replaced by negative five, then after you take the absolute value, the answer is five. Okay, go back. If I replace the star here by five, the answer is five or I replace the star here by negative five, the answer is also five. So the number that can be replaced for the star inside the absolute value is either five or negative five to match with this number five right here, okay? Going back to this equation right here, we have Five take away three times the absolute value quantity of two x minus five equals negative ten. We want to solve for x. And you see that x happened to be inside the absolute value quantity. And the absolute value quantity is like a block of ice. You can't do anything with x because you can't distribute the negative three in. Okay, so what you have to do is the rule of thumb. Always isolate the absolute value quantity by itself, okay? In this case, I want to isolate this. So I want to work with the absolute value quantity only. So I minus five to both sides. So I minus five here, I minus five here. I have negative three times two x minus five inside the absolute value quantity equals negative 15. Then we have to clean up the negative coefficient. So I divide both sides by negative 3. I divide negative 3 to the left side of the equation. I have 2x minus 5 left inside the absolute value quantity. And I divide negative 15 by negative 3. I have 5. Now, I am comparing this expression with 5. So the, the expression 2x minus 5 has to be either 5 or 2x minus 5 is negative 5. Because if you take 5 or negative 5 and you replace it by the content inside the absolute value or the expression 2x minus 5 and take the absolute value, the answer would be 5. And from here to here, we don't have any more absolute value, okay? And we have two linear equations, and we can go ahead and solve for the unknown. In this case, is x. For the first equation, I add 5 to both sides. I have 10. Divide both sides by 2, then x equals 5. One answer. Move on to the second linear equation. I add 5 to both sides. 5, take away 5, 0, divide both sides by 2, x equals 0. So I end up with two solutions. One is x equals 5, or the second one, x equals 0. This is how to solve for an absolute value equation. One more time, the rule of thumb, how to solve for an absolute value equation. We have to make sure we isolate the absolute value quantity by itself. You always have to have it by itself with one coefficient, okay? And then we compare that with a positive number. And then you work it out. We set the expression equal to this number or the expression equal to the negative of that number. And then you work it out we solve for the unknown. That is how to solve for an absolute value equation.